Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine McCoy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking in to drop by, but if you are a returner, it is always nice to have you back. This video, I'm going to be talking about my journey into AKA, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. But before we get too far into this video, if you are not yet subscribed, that's okay. You're gonna take your finger, your cursor, you're gonna to go to the bottom right hand corner. There is a big red button that says subscribe. Click that, turn on notifications, and you'll be notified of the rest of the videos that will be in this playlist talking about my journey in AKA. So as I said before, we have to start at the beginning. How did I become a part of AKA? And the reason why I'm doing these videos is because we are getting close to another January 15th. That means your timeline, your city is going to be flooded with pink and green because we're going to be celebrating our Founders Day. And I just thought, hmm, another Founders Day is coming around. I love being an AKA. Why don't I take time to just sit and reflect on the journey that I have had in this sorority? And my journey in Alpha Kappa Alpha has not been an exceedingly long one, but it has been very eventful. So that's what we're going to be doing with this multi-part series that is going to be coming out over the course of the days leading up to January 15th. So again, make sure you're subscribed, make sure that you have your notifications turned on, that way you can see those other videos that will be coming out. But without further ado, let's get into my journey of becoming an AKA. And we actually don't start with me. No, 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 we do not start with me, we start with my mom. And for some of you, you're going to be clued in like, oh yes, she has a legacy. Maybe you know me in person, maybe you know my mom in person, but I am a legacy of Alpha Kappa Alpha. That means my mom, someone who is in my family, whether that's your mom, aunt, grandmother, is a part of Alpha Kappa Alpha, and you as a female descendant of that person are then a legacy. So for me, it was my mom. She was initiated into Epsilon Epsilon chapter at the University of Memphis in 1990, and she was number 10 on her line out of 13. Her line name was Whippapew, and she always told me and my sister growing up about the stats, the stories, how she got this initiation name, Whippapew. It is a famous song by Babyface that came out at the time that she was going through her initiation process and she always had her hair nicely pressed and laid. She loved to whip it. So that's how my mom became Whip Appeal. And you might be sitting there going, okay, so mom, aka, my mom loves aka, eats, sleeps, and breathes it. And my journey of becoming an AKA pretty much became cemented once my mom knew that I was a girl. Once she knew that I was a girl, pink, green, everything, that was something that was very well defined for both me and my sister. I had the pink things, my sister had the green things. We had shirts saying future AKA, my mom is an AKA, pink and green booties, pink and green everything. That was just a part of what my mom was expecting and wanting and hoping for me and my sister as her daughters, as her legacies. Obviously, I am not a mother, but I do understand the excitement that she must have felt when she knew that I was going to be a daughter. That way I could be her legacy. And I have literally seen it in all of the different legacy parades that I've been able to see by being international second vice president and going to all the different regional conferences, again, We'll get to that stuff later in other videos and being a part of many different legacy parades with my mom and with my sister. So she was very excited. This is something that was just inundated in our lives as young girls. So as young girls, thinking about all of the important female role models in our lives, they were either AKAs or they were moms of Jack and Jill. And frequently they were both. So my mom is a part of a lot, a lot of different organizations. And we moved all the time, all the time we were moving. 
growing up. Every two to three years, my family would move because of my dad's job. But there were certain things that my sister and I knew would be constant. We knew that we would be put into the Jack and Jill chapter of the city that we were moving into. That way we could have an immediate group of black family and friends in the city. And we also knew that our mom would be joining the local AKA chapter. So what does that mean for us? Every time we moved, the people that would be welcoming us first into the community were Jack and Jill moms and moms of, and uh, members of AKA. And I remember very, very distinctly when we were moving to Charlotte, North Carolina, one of the first few days where we were in the house, everything has since been moved in. Mom was having some sort of party. My sister and I were upstairs at the top of the stairs looking down and we see all these ladies coming in in pink and green. We're looking down and we're like, oh my God, the pink and green ladies are here. The pink and green ladies are having a party at mom's house. And to be honest, as children, we didn't completely understand what the sorority was. We knew that they were pink and green ladies, that they had events, that sometimes our mom would take us to the events to be a part of it. Sometimes mom would take us to the meetings and we would just sit in the back playing with our Polly Pockets, not bothering anyone. But we knew that they were AKAs and that AKA was important. So we thought they were the also known as ladies because as a child, that's all you know what AKA means. But that is the kind of thing that permeates my memories being surrounded by ladies of pink ladies in pink and green of alpha kappa alpha now we're going to fast forward to college and college was when things really started setting in and cementing oh alpha kappa alpha is not just going to be a part of my life through my mom it is now going to actually be a part of my life because I'm now at the time of college I'm getting ready to become a part of the organization and if you are looking for information on how Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated does its initiation process, that is not what you're going to find here because uh, that is something that we keep confidential. But just talking about the excitement that I felt because my entire life leading up until the fall of 2018, Alpha Kappa Alpha was my mom's sorority. And it was very quickly going to become my sorority, our sorority, all of the women that I knew who were a part of mom's sorority were about to become a part of my sorority. And it's like, whoa, this is a big mentality shift. This is going to be a big difference. I knew that something was going to change and I was ready for it, but I also wasn't ready for it at the same time. So going into the initiation process, I was just excited to know that this is going to become mine. And when I got to Harvard, I went to Harvard University. The chapter there is not just for Harvard. It is a city chapter for Harvard, MIT, and Wellesley. So in the year and a half-ish before I became a member, I made sure that I was going to all of the Lambda Upsilon chapter events. Lambda Upsilon is where I was initiated. So I was going didn't matter if it was at MIT, didn't matter if I had to go an hour and a half to Wellesley to get to the event, I would go there. And that is something that was very important to me because I wanted them to see that Alpha Kappa Alpha is serious for me. It is a serious matter. And it's not just something that I was expecting to walk into. When I went into these events, I knew that I was just one of many and that I would be joining a worldwide organization that has stuck to its purpose for over a hundred years. I had an understanding, I had an appreciation, I had respect, I had humility. I had an understanding that the purpose of Alpha, Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated is strong. And that if I was going to be a part of moving the organization towards this purpose, I had to put my best foot forward and show that I am about the work of the sorority, not just in it for the title or the name recognition. Because there is a lot of name recognition that comes with Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Even more now, because the Vice President of the United States of America is an AKA. But obviously at the time, 2018, there were still tons of famous women 
influential women, activist women that have been a part of this sorority and taken it to great heights. So little old me coming in, I was just ready to be a part of the greatness and do my part in lifting it even higher. I became a member of the sorority and I was like, wow, I did it. The start of my AKA journey is official. Not this as soon as my mom knew I was a girl, she knew I was going to be an AKA. Like I am an AKA now. November 18th, 2018, I became an AKA and it was so beautiful. We had an excellent, um, we had an excellent probate show. We had an excellent initiation ceremony. My mom was able to come, my dad, sister, grandmother, all of that. It was beautiful. And I was very tired at the end. It was a long day, but I also got a bunch of great presents and it was just the start of something that I've really come to love and enjoy as a part of my own life. So that really concludes the end of this first video, the first part in the series of my journey with AKA, becoming an AKA. So if you want to see the next video where I will talk about those first couple of years before I decided to become the international second vice president, that will be the next video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to turn on notifications. If you have comments, questions, you can put those down below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.